Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. Happy September 1st, which means in the candle wax retail community, happy fall. And I want to start off with my exciting fall videos with the Kringle Candle Fall 2021 line of candles. I do have three candles here to share with you today. There are a total of 14 candles in the line, seven in the country candle line, and seven in the Kringle candle line. They sent me three to review, which I'm super excited and grateful for. Thank you so much, Kringle Candle. Shout out to you guys, because you're the MVP this holiday season, as always. I'm still waiting for my Halloween candles, and I will be sure to talk to you guys about them as soon as they come in. But they sent me three candles. A few days ago and I just have not gotten a chance to sit down and film a video. Work, life, it's insane. My hair was definitely not as purple as I wanted it to be and I just got it done so I'm like let's get some videos filmed with my bright purple hair. So without further ado let's talk about Kringle Candle. So if you guys know Yankee Candle, the Yankee Candle was created by Mike Ketridge, and his son Mick decided to start Kringle Candle. These are Kringle Candles. There's actually two different designs of the Kringle Candles. They have the Country Candle Jar and the Kringle Candle Jar. The Kringle Candle Jar is more modern. They all come in white wax. They all now are the Soy Blend Double Wicked. And then the Country Candle Jars are the Paraffin Blend colored wax, also double wick, but have that country feel, that original Yankee Candle type of quality to them. Now, what I love about the country candles is they have more the foodie, the bakery, the fun fragrances, whereas Kringle candles have more of the sophisticated scents. I love Kringle candles. But anyway, the first candle that I want to talk to you guys about is a pumpkin waffle cone. Does anything sound better than a pumpkin waffle cone? Now I do have my phone with the descriptions and pumpkin waffle cone for one, what a fun bright pink colored jar. And it says, a gourmet creation. Pumpkin waffle cone is full of pumpkin, gingerbread, and apple crisp flavor wrapped with buttercream and spicy sweetness. Top notes of butter, gingerbread, apple, and lemon Bid, mid notes of pumpkin, spicy, cinnamon, musky, and base is gourmand, vanilla, and sweet. So, for one, the picture is beautiful. We have this beautiful homemade waffle cone with a big white pumpkin on the front. And I love myself some pumpkin, and I love my bakery. And I love this. Now, what I like about this candle is it's subtle. It's not super strong on the cinnamon, but it's there. But you get that buttery, rich, flaky, I don't want to say crust because it's not crust, it's waffle cone, with a little bit of that, just, you walked into an ice cream shop and that is the scent that is captured. Now, I know a lot of people are new to my channel and you might be wondering, why do you smell the lids of candles? It makes headspace. So whenever your candles are sitting here, all that scent is getting locked in the lid. So when you smell the lid, you're going to get a more true to life fragrance than just smelling the top of the candle. It's almost like wine, like really uh, sophisticated. That's what I love about it. But, oh, this is such a good candle. I cannot wait to start burning this. It's already rainy outside. It's so beautiful. I cannot wait to light this. And again, that color, beautiful. Now, in the country candle line, there are also, I'm pulling up the other fragrances, we have Blueberry French Toast, which I need to order. I French Toast, delish. Cinnamon Buns. Golden Mums and Honey Crisp, which sounds super intriguing. Sweet Potato Pie. I know Bonnie, Queen of the Girl Geeks, just made a video on the Sweet Potato Pie. Twilight Twon Twonka. Twilight Tonka and Warm Cider Sangria. And look at the picture on that Warm Cider Sangria. Mm. It looks so yummy. And now on to the Kringle candles. Let me just pull it up here on my phone. Oops, that's not what I wanted. 
Collections Kringle Candles Autumn. So the first candle that they sent to me is their Three Wick Soy Blend wax again with the white wax in cognac and leather so the picture has this beautiful leather armchair it has a bottle uh, or a glass of cognac and i love leathery scents i love spicy scents i love those more manly scents during the fall and winter season and boozy scents are also my jam so the description for cognac and leather reads let's pull this up 112 autumn fragrances. I love it. Why can't I? Here we go. Fall in love with crinkle scents for autumn. Here we go. Cognac and leather. It says, smooth cognac melds with warm spices and weathered tobacco over balancing touches of gray, vetiver, dark rose, and enduring musk. Top notes of wood, tobacco, mid rose, and fruit, and leather, and musk. Now, the rose is interesting but you really pick it up. Now, it is not a leather forward fragrance. So if you're like, I do not like leather, don't worry. It's not like a leather forward fragrance, but you do pick up on it. And then the cognac. Anytime there's a boozy note in any scent, I love it because to me, it just adds another layer of a fragrance. Oh, wow. And the rose you do pick up, which is interesting because cognac and leather, you wouldn't think of rose as a note in it. But it's definitely prominent. So if you don't like rosy scents, you might not like this, but... Oh, it's really, really nice. Again, not overpowering on the leather, which is something that a lot of people don't like. It's more of a brand new leather. So when I describe leather, there's like those old-fashioned saddles or old leather shoes or a belt. Whereas this is like fresh leather. You just bought a new leather sofa from the very expensive store. And it does have that leather scent, but it's new leather. That's what that smells like with rose, which how can you ever go wrong with rose? And then the last scent that I have to review for you is pumpkin peppercorn. For one, not even the name pumpkin peppercorn, but the label. These like chunky knit pumpkins. I mean, I'm obsessed with the jar and I'm obsessed with the scent. Now this screams craft store. So the notes on pumpkin peppercorn read, I'm pulling it up here. They read, pumpkin peppercorn is a spicy twist on a traditional pumpkin fragrance with peppercorn, ginger root, and cassia leaf blended with sweet apple, pureed pumpkin, and delectable vanilla and caramel. So interesting. So it's a very spicy pumpkin, but then there's a little bit of sweetness in the background. And you can honestly get it. You definitely pick up on cinnamon. But it's like a red hot cinnamon. It's like a cinnamon stick versus like a sweet sugary cinnamon. And then you do pick up way in the background like a sweetness. Which tones down that cinnamon a little bit. The caramel and the vanilla. And the peppercorn almost, almost leans this towards like a fine fragrance. So like something I would wear on my body as like an evening fragrance in the fall. Oh yeah, that's like, it's definitely sophisticated pumpkin. So if you're not into like bakery pumpkin, but you do want fall, if you want more like sophisticated elevated fragrance, I would go with the pumpkin peppercorn. Yeah, that, that's nice. I really like it. I cannot wait to burn that. That's going to be like a cold, cold fall night where I'm just ready to relax. And the other fragrances in the line are Cherry Chai. I'm intrigued. I'm not sure I don't really like cherry fragrances. We'll see. Cognac and Leather. Crimson Park. I'm ordering that based just on the label. Knitted Cashmere. Northern Lights, November, so it's like B-R-R-R-R-R, and then the Pumpkin Peppercorn. So what an awesome lineup for Kringle this year. I cannot wait, again, to start burning these. I always post like little mini reviews on Instagram and little photos of me or boomerangs of me burning the candles. I am starting in September, which is today, doing a monthly hope probably monthly empties video. What I burned, what I melted in the month of September, I go through a lot of candles, you guys. And I'm the type, when I start a candle, 
I burn it down to the bottom before I start another one. So I do have like five in rotation because I can't burn the entire one every day. But I like to just have different varieties but don't have every single candle in my collection lit. It drives me crazy. I like having them pristine. Now, last but not least, I'm going to leave my code because I am a Kringle Candle Ambassador down below, which is DS Yawk, which is my last name, for 15% off your order. Doesn't mean you have to be a first time user, anybody can use that. And it is free shipping over $100, I believe. I think it's over either $85 or $100. I'm pretty sure it's over $100. But. I'm definitely going to place my order. I love my Kringle candles, especially for the evenings when I'm cozy in my apartment, watching TV. I just love them. So, let me know what you guys are going to try from the Kringle Candle Collection. Don't forget to comment down below. Let's get the conversation started. Hit that notification bell if you're not already, so that way you're alerted every time I upload in YouTube. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!